Hey everyone, it's Thackard, and welcome back to the Blueberry series, a series designed to help new players with game mechanics, tactics, and strategies, and heroes and generals. So, we're getting back into it today, and we're going to be talking about the semi-automatic rifles. Now, these are the rifles that you get right at the start of the game. It's your introductory starter weapon. So, we're going to be talking about the Gewehr 43, we're going to be talking about the M1 Grand, and we're going to be talking about the SVT-40. Now, after we go over the stats, I'll give you my opinion on which one I like best. So, to the stats. The Gewehr 43, M1 Garand, and SVT-40 are the starting weapons for infantry and paratrooper. They are also initially unlocked on all new recons, but you will have to purchase it for a cost of 24,000 credits or 280 gold. If you would like to use another faction's semi-automatic rifle, you'll have to pay 118,000 credits or 560 gold. The captured unlock is at level 9 of the specific weapon. Now that we're going over the stats, I will talk about the Gewehr 43 first. It does 51 damage at 64 meters, and 35 at the far range of 160 meters. It has a rate of fire of 253 rounds per minute, and it has a magazine size of 10. Its reload time is 3.1 seconds. It requires five equipment points to equip. The maintenance load is 20 seconds, and the cost per shot is 0.04 credits. The M1 Garand does 53 damage at 65 meters, and it does 35 damage at the far range of 150 meters. It has a rate of fire of 276 rounds per minute with a magazine size of eight. It takes you 2.8 seconds to reload. It requires five equipment points and it will increase your maintenance load by 20 seconds. It also has a cost per shot of 0.04 credits. The SVT-40 has a damage of 51 at 70 meters it has a damage of 38 at the far range of 140 meters, and it has a rate of fire of 287 rounds per minute. The magazine holds 10 rounds, and the reload time is 2.9 seconds. It requires 5 equipment points, and the maintenance load is again 20 seconds, and the cost per shot is 0.04 credits. As you can see, the SVT-40 really shines through here. It has the highest rate of fire, and it also has 10 rounds in the magazine. That's the same as the Gewehr, but it also reloads 0.2 of a second faster. The other thing that's great about it is its damage at far ranges. Now, it will reach that far range quicker, but it does 38 damage. While this difference in damage might not seem like much, if you are shooting at a heavy set gold target at far ranges, and you're hitting in the arms or the legs, the SVT will kill the target with one shot less than the Gewehr 43 or the M1 Garand. Up next, we have the TTK or Time to Kill. The Gewehr 43 at the near ranges against unarmored targets has a kill time of 237 milliseconds. Against bronze, silver, and gold targets, at near range, it has a kill time of 474 milliseconds, and that is the same as an unarmored target at far range. Bronze, silver, and gold armored targets at far range have a kill time of 711 milliseconds. The M1 Garand has a TTK near against unarmored of 217 milliseconds. It has a TTK for bronze, silver, and gold armored targets at the near range of 434 milliseconds, which is the same as an unarmored target at far range. The bronze, silver, and gold armor targets at far range will require 651 milliseconds to kill. The SVT-40 has a time to kill against near-ranged unarmored targets of 209 milliseconds. Against bronze, silver, and gold targets at the near range, it takes 418 milliseconds, which is the same as an unarmored target at far range and a bronze armor target at far range. The silver and gold armor targets at far ranges will require 627 milliseconds. 
This page really highlights the SVT-40 once again. As I was saying before, the increased rate of fire and damage at far ranges really shows off here on its decreased time to kill versus the M1, and its substantially decreased time to kill against the Gewehr 43, especially at those long ranges. We are now getting into the accuracy statistics, so all of these are going to be in degrees. The cone fire for the Gewehr 43 is 0.13 degrees, with an upward recoil of 1.98 degrees, a rightward recoil of 0.22 degrees, and a recoil variance of 0.7 degrees. The M1 Grand has a cone fire of 0.11 degrees, an upward recoil of 1.8 degrees, a rightward recoil of 0.2 degrees, and a recoil variance of 0.7 degrees. And lastly, the SVT-40 has a cone fire of 0.145 degrees, an upward recoil of 1.9 degrees, a rightward recoil of 0.165 degrees, and a recoil variance of 0.95 degrees. All three of these weapons have very nice cone fire. The cone fire is the width of that very first shot you take at your target. On the other hand, they also have massive upward recoil and recoil variance. To give you an idea of kind of how massive it is, the MG42 has an upward recoil of 2.07 degrees and a recoil variance of only 0.4 degrees. And the MG42 kicks like a freaking mule. The M1 Garand does come out a little bit better here. It has the smallest cone fire and also the smallest upward recoil. And at the same time, it has the same recoil variance as the Gewehr 43. Here we're looking at the different sways for all the weapons, once again in degrees. The Gewehr 43 has a sway for standing of 0.45 degrees, a sway for crouch for 0.37 degrees, a prone sway of 0.2 degrees, movement penalty sway of 2.5 degrees, and a fatigue penalty sway of 4.0 degrees. The M1 Garand has a standing sway of 0.52 degrees, a crouch sway of 0.32 degrees, and a prone sway of 0.22 degrees. Its movement penalty sway is 2.5 degrees, and the fatigue penalty sway is 4.0 degrees. Lastly, the SVT standing sway is 0.41 degrees, crouch sway is 0.32 degrees, prone is 0.19 degrees, its movement penalty is 2.5 degrees, and its fatigue penalty is 4.0 degrees. Once again, the SVT-40 reigns supreme with the best standing, crouched, and prone sway of all three of these weapons. Lastly, we have our precision stats. Now, for aiming modifier, the lower, the better. Now, all three of these weapons actually have the same exact stats for all of these. Their aiming modifier is 0.4. Their cone expansion per shot is 0.4 degrees. Their cone expansion while turning is 0.1 degrees. And the cone contraction per second is 1.5 degrees. All right, so we've taken a look at all the stats and now it is time for my opinion on which one I like the most. And as a German main, I'm sad because it ain't the G43, I'll tell you that much. So as I'm stacking them up, G43 is way at the bottom. If you looked, it didn't get highlighted once in the entire video. I mean, I actually thought that I could add in cosmetics to maybe get a vid a win with the Gottmit Un skin, which is marvelous, is really good. Except then I remember that the Americans for the Grand have the, what is it, Death and Glory and the lend skin. So the Grand would have won that round. So yeah, the G43 won nothing. It is in last place. Don't like it. Um, when it compares to the other weapons. Next up, in second place, we have the uh, we have the uh, Garand, the M1 Garand. And if you are a person who is very accurate with your shots, 
it's slightly better cone fire might mean you have a little bit better chance at getting those headshots so that might be where you're looking but i think for the vast majority of people myself included at the top of the pile is the svt 40 and for my opinion it's not even close it has a faster rate of fire it has more damage at longer ranges this shows off really well in the TTK uh, chart that I showed. It actually has much better TTK than the uh, the Gewehr does, especially in those long ranges. Um, also, the sway for it is less than uh, the other weapons. So overall, it is by far, in my opinion, the best of the starter weapons, best of those semi-automatic uh, automatic weapons. It is so good, in fact, that if you were to come to my stream and ask me, Thackard, how should I equip my G43 to make it better? What I will tell you is, if you want to make your G43 better, buy an SVT. All you have to go it, do is go to the first encounter match, pick up a bot's SVT when you're playing the Soviets, and start blasting away. And then you buy it. Trust me. You will do better with buying an SVT than putting all the bits and pieces on your Gewehr. All right. In fact, I'm actually doing this with one of my guys. I just promoted one of my guys to a general and he would carry the Gewehr 43 and an MP40. This time around, he's going to be carrying an SVT and probably a PPSH. So, yeah, if you want to improve the Gewehr, buy an SVT. If you think I am crazy, or you would have ranked these weapons in a different way, please go down in those comments and tell me how you would list them. Uh, next up, I believe we're going to do submachine guns. So we're going to be going over the Germans, and then the Soviets, and then the Americans, like we have for the LMGs uh, prior. So we're just going to start with those submachine guns next. But until we do, until we, that next Blueberry video comes out, I hope you all have a wonderful time in-game. If you enjoyed or disliked this video, I do hope you comment on it and give it a thumbs up or down. If you want to see new videos, please hit the subscribe button, and to be notified of new content when it comes out, hit the notification bell. But for now, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day, and don't forget to bring it no matter what you do. And I will see you guys in the next video.